Can women be sexually active during pregnancy safely? What is the role of clitoral stimulation in achieving the female orgasm? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. In general, women can be sexually active safely during pregnancy unless specific medical complications arise. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional to ensure there are no health risks. Clitoral stimulation is crucial for many women in achieving orgasm, as it is a highly sensitive area rich in nerve endings, relaxation, and sexual performance. Foreplay helps women relax and release tension, which can improve their sexual performance and increase the likelihood of reaching orgasm during penetration. Risk factors. Some factors, such as engaging in unprotected sexual intercourse, having multiple sexual partners, using intravenous drugs, and having a history of previous STDs can increase the risk of contracting an STD. Role-playing. Exploring roles during foreplay can add excitement and variety to the sexual experience, allowing women to play different characters and enjoy new erotic dynamics. Seminars and workshops. Events and workshops dedicated to the study and practice of the Kama Sutra are organized worldwide, providing opportunities to learn and experience its teachings interactively. Sensual massage. Sensual massages during foreplay can help relax muscles, reduce anxiety, and increase sexual arousal in women, creating an intimate and stimulating environment for sexual activity. Sexual diversity. Human sexuality encompasses a wide range of sexual orientations, including heterosexuality, homosexuality, bisexuality, and pansexuality, among others. Sexual education. Some people use pornography as a tool for sexual education, although this can be problematic due to the unrealistic and unhealthy representation of sexuality. Sexual fantasies. Many women turn to sexual fantasies during masturbation to increase excitement and pleasure. These fantasies can vary widely and may include erotic situations, locations, or imaginary individuals. Sexual pleasure. Pleasure is an important aspect of human sexuality. Learning to communicate about sexual preferences and needs can improve satisfaction in intimate relationships. Sexuality and mental health. Mental health can influence sexuality and vice versa. Mental health issues such as depression or anxiety can affect libido and sexual satisfaction, while a satisfying sex life can contribute to emotional well-being. Sexuality in old age. As people age, their sexual needs and desires may change, but sexuality remains an important part of life. Many older adults continue to enjoy an active and satisfying sex life. Sexually transmitted diseases can have a significant impact on the sexual, reproductive, and emotional health of affected individuals. The stigma and discrimination associated with these infections can hinder the seeking of medical attention and necessary support. Short hair fetishism involves a particular attraction to people with short hair, either for their aesthetic appearance or fetishistic associations. Smart toys. With the advancement of technology, smart sex toys have emerged that can be controlled via mobile apps, allowing couples to connect remotely and customize their sexual experience. Social taboo. Although fetishes are common and natural, there are still social taboos surrounding certain fetishes, especially those considered uncommon or socially unacceptable. This can lead individuals with fetishes to feel stigmatized or ashamed of their sexual interests. Spontaneity versus planning. While some women prefer spontaneous and unpredictable sexual encounters, others may feel more comfortable and relaxed when sexual activities are planned or scheduled in advance. Stress and erectile dysfunction. Chronic stress can contribute to erectile dysfunction by negatively affecting hormone levels, blood circulation, and overall mental health. Finding ways to manage stress, such as exercise, meditation, and therapy, can help improve erectile function. Syphilis, 
a sexually transmitted disease caused by the bacterium Treponema pallidum, has experienced a resurgence in recent years in several countries, especially in urban populations and among men who have sex with men. Teeth fetishism. Some people find sexual arousal towards teeth, either admiring the aesthetic appearance of a partner's teeth or engaging in erotic activities involving teeth. The female orgasm. Although the female orgasm may be more difficult to achieve than the male orgasm for some women, exploration, communication, and practice can help increase the likelihood of experiencing it. The importance of consent. Mutual consent is fundamental in any sexual activity. All parties involved must give their consent freely and consciously before engaging in any sexual activity. The influence of religion on sexuality. Religious teachings and moral norms can have a significant impact on people's sexuality, potentially causing internal conflicts between religious beliefs and individual sexual desires. The prevalence of sexual disorders. Sexual disorders, such as erectile dysfunction or hypoactive sexual desire disorder, are common and can affect people of all ages and genders. The role of sexual communication. Open and honest communication about sexual needs, desires, and boundaries is crucial for a satisfying and healthy sex life in any relationship. Time of day. Women's preferences for sexual positions may vary depending on the time of day, with some feeling more energized and adventurous in the morning, while others prefer the intimacy of nighttime encounters. Treatments. There are several treatment approaches for premature ejaculation, ranging from psychological therapies and ejaculation control techniques to medications and desensitizing topical creams. Underlying disorders. In some cases, premature ejaculation may be related to underlying disorders, such as depression, generalized anxiety, or erectile dysfunction. Vacuum devices. Vacuum devices are a treatment option for erectile dysfunction that involves a plastic cylinder placed over the penis and pumped to create a vacuum, helping to increase blood flow to the penis and produce an erection. Vertical transmission. STDs can be transmitted from mother to child during pregnancy, childbirth, or breastfeeding, which can have serious consequences for the baby's health. Virtual reality toys. With advances in virtual reality technology, sex toys have emerged that synchronize with virtual content to provide an immersive sensory experience during masturbation. Sensual massage. Sensual massages during foreplay can help relax muscles, reduce anxiety, and increase sexual arousal in women, creating an intimate and stimulating environment for sexual activity. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.